When Ted and I were looking to get a retreat, uh, there were a few things we were looking for. Ted really, really wanted to be on the water. I love trees and wanted to be in the forest. And uh, we also wanted to be close to town, so a place that we could get to quickly. And then really importantly, that we could have friends out for the afternoon and evening. So we found Westward. Uh, we call it Westward because it looks west over Cobles Passage. Both Ted and I moved west. Um, and it's our place of looking at the sunset and relaxing and just being here and present. For us, entertaining really is about you know, having friends and family over and showing love That's and breaking bread. That's just a, such a huge part of, of our lives. Um, also, you know, for me, setting a table is just takes me right to my happy place. Um, I get to play with flowers. I get to use um, objects that we found on our travels. Um, we both get to cook. And it's just, uh, it's a way for us to spend time together. And it's a way for us to spend time with our family and friends. Is it okay that I'm having some of these grapes now? They're not Please. Them? No, no, no. Mm. Enjoy. That's a cool way to store little cooking oils. Oh, darling, not oils. Um, a little vodka, scotch, and gin. Oh my gosh! It's <laughs> alcohol? It is not olive oil, yeah. Uh, a little alcohol. You want a little cocktail? Well, it's five o'clock somewhere. It is five o'clock somewhere. A little. So what? Like you literally just pump it? Yeah. They're, uh, we saw them at the shop. They're really fun. You basically... Um, Wait. It's, Look at these little whale little glasses. Margot Larson, she's the, the best. Little cocktail for you. Okay. So it's literally just a pump and just it comes. Just a pump, you put your hand over it and it's a perfect shot. And I make sure and I and I make and I hot. make sure that that and then you uh, I'm gonna put some fresh mint. Oh, it's nice. like the most beautiful bouquet mint. I've ever seen. Uh, uh, rivals any flower bouquet is just fresh uh, mint. Absolutely, it's hard and hard to beat. Everything here, the island is just bursting with green oh. and flora. Mm. Uh, that window, I think that's one of my favorite it's views. Just a beautiful moment of yes, just, of just uh, green beyond a pane. It's just yeah. just yeah. like being in a storybook. Thank yeah. you. Cheers. Cheers. You know. This is a testament what a can of white paint can do. It's like a miracle worker. It's everywhere here. Oh, paint is just such an amazing thing. Uh, it was quite dingy in here, and we just uh, really wanted to warm it up a little bit, and so we just did this creamy white, and we just did floor ceiling, the whole the whole ball wax. And did you add all these windows and doors? Like it was very dark in here when you super, bought the house. It was super dark. We did. We opened up. We put the French doors in, and that just really opened it up. And then we actually used a lot of these windows, the really big windows. They were the vintage windows, and we wanted to incorporate those in. So we used those throughout. Um, it really does give almost a subconscious feel when you enter here that there's an. Um, a timelessness, a storybook, an old quality, and that's Absolutely. because I didn't even know that. But yep. if it, these had been new windows, right. oh, it, would have been it totally wouldn't different, feel totally like different. the same vibe. Exactly right. And the red, white, and blue. Yep. I just I I love how it's everywhere. Fun. Uh, well, we um, we bought the house from a former mayor of Seattle, and he has that. Wait, the former mayor of Seattle? Seattle? It was his home, his family home, and so he had always when he would be here, he would do his, the flag would be out, and so when we found that out.
out and the house the outside of was red was red so i was like oh my gosh let's just do kind of americana we both loved that idea we love the red from outside and so we just kind of ran with it and just did the whole red white and blue thing with a touch of nautical thrown in a lot of nautical thrown in yes and also what i remark about is how small this house is mm -hmm. in the most snug delicious way the pieces of furniture have a large scale personality nature to them, which is something Absolutely. that most people, it's not their instinct to do. Right, and most people go the other way. And we really just, we uh, love small spaces, but we really like big, we think that um, bigger furniture works really well. It makes a statement in a small space. Thank you for my delicious lunch. You are so welcome. And I'm so excited that we're staying for supper. It's gonna be yummy. It's gonna be really yummy. I just, on this kitchen, it's very much like a boat here, you said, because it's Absolutely. space is precious. Yep. You've organized it. Again, your open shelf philosophy. Right. And I love the idea of all the jars that you can see everything and pull it so handily. Right. Then you can just, you know, I mean, if you're doing a recipe or something, you can just, like you said, pull it super, super easy. And um, I think they're just very visual. They're just very kind of cool looking in and of themselves. And because there's no doors, um, you know, it's just both of us love just very organized spaces. So it's really, you're it both organized. And you would say, very, very organized. That's the trait that you have. <laughs> yeah, very much so, yes. But you're not so organized that you don't have fun like i oh, love yeah. the w yeah oh totally and knife spoon fork with yep. each in that yeah you have fun and yet it's still so functional yeah oh absolutely and visual it's, it's, it's very, totally yeah. visual and like you did at the store clumping everything with colors mm -hmm. so to here like your silver collection up there those chowder bowls and the creamy white the red le creuset i mean you did it all in just such a delightful way. Oh, it's so you. fun to thank be you, here. Thank you. Yeah, and to me, it's just, you know, small spaces, everything counts. You really want to just have everything be a visual kind of pop. And that's uh, part of the fun of being here. The treehouse, which actually is not really a treehouse, it's a space for creativity for us, it's a great place to um, read, um, to draw. We use the same French doors that we did in the main house and it's really fun because they open up to the water and to the, the courtyard that has the hazelnut shells. This fabulous wall is actually done for us by the artist Amy Duncan, who just creates amazing um, collage works uh, for us. She's done them at the store and then she did this for us here at Westward. Don't miss another video visit. Click on the orange Q to subscribe and have Quintessence virtually delivered from our doorstep to yours.